Ah, finally. Time to... <sighs> Larry is not on, but things should be good shortly. He'll be on, and then we can go and beat up that final boss, and... Okay, here we are, right in front of that... Yeah, killing that cursed armor, for whatever reason, did not work for me last time. Either way, while I wait for him to get on, I think I'll beat up a number of enemies here. Try to loot a bit more hair for her final, final battle. Okay. Got to love that big ol' fist. So we've got, so we've got a crappy valence gem. What's in here? Oh, uh, wielding horn. That's okay. These arrows are interesting. Let's take these away. I don't need any more of those. Then we also grabbed a few. A few of these arrows. What's in here? We got... Okay. Okay. Eh, decent enough. Just gotta extract it and go down. We got the lever over here. Oh, Hajo Masenshi, how are you doing? I'm waiting for Larry to come on, but first, um, exploring a dungeon real quick. How are you doing? Got all my stuff ready. Are you eating something, or...? Oh, come on. I... Okay, and luckily we can just take this guy down, I think. Did we hit something, or...? Yeah, I died. Okay. It's just a funny beetle here. Oh! Well, that, that wasn't very nice. Why did you do that? Can't imagine it would be particularly tasty. Okay. So, we got another one here with a shulker. Loot shulker, loot chess. That's decent. I'll see what I'm willing to take. Okay, this is something I should pick up and save for later in the interest of maybe trying to get some better affixes on some of my personal gear. Guess I can take that string. Biting! I... Alright. Why, why are you covered in paint? What, what could possibly lead to and justify such a thing? Nothing in here. Then, eh, I can disenchant that at least. Guess I'll take a source berry? Hmm, but, oh, interesting to to throw at people, or what? Hello there, Ender Golem. I'm going to punch you to death. There we go, and, ooh, alright. And you're gone. Goodbye. Okay. Interesting. What do those people think about that? Okay, wait, I should eat. This man drink real quick. Okay, that took longer to eat than I expected. Oh, that... You get bad luck when you eat one of those things. Interesting. And then... Just in here, Bonnie. Eh, okay. A couple of iron ingots and a, an okay gem. And then that... That's legendary. I can pick that up and take it. Then pumpkin, cabbage... I guess I'll take the bones. Oh, so it's not a friendly prank thing. It's... You have people you actively dislike. And you're in a paint balloon war? Interesting. Where did he teleport to? Well, that ender chest is... I guess I could take a ender chest. Well, I... was trying to assume the best. Oh, but right, that just gives... That just gives eight obsidian unless I have silk trash, but actually, that could be useful as a way to get obsidian. Well, if I really needed obsidian. I don't know, I... I try to assume the best about people. Okay, and... Oh, but... It knocked me away and the combo didn't hit at all. Oh, that is... Ludicrous. Come on, come on. Just punch you down, and there we go. I really, really, really love the DPS I can put out with these fists. I've got so many of these void runes that... They're not that useful. Hmm. I clearly see someone right there. Hello! Glad to see you here. Larry is... Taking his sweet time, but he should hopefully be here soon, and we can fight the true final boss. He did put the server on. He does run the server, so he at least... he He's at least in his house. I mean, his apartment. 
So, oh, but I need to open up, open up. And Interesting. It was good. It was actually really tasty. It's the same place we usually go to, so... Oh, but if you're teleporting around like that, I... That big one has got to be Kali, I believe. So, uh, uh, uh. Open back up, open back up. And, okay, which ones can I get rid of and which ones can I... He's just... Why are you so... Okay, that teleported and died. But we had some biryani and a bit of... Shrimp curry as well. Oh, but it's immune to its own levitation effect. Interesting. But obviously, I won't be able to open that up until I kill Shulker, who is currently over there. Yeah. What's really, really funny is that the entire reason we get biryani every time is... Be and it is tasty. It's because when I first went there, I said we should get biryani because I recognize the name from Genshin. And he guessed that and wasn't too happy about it, but... It didn't make much of a difference in the end. Yeah, that's okay-ish. But we can't get anything. We need to get orange rarity stuff. What? I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah, just go ahead, say dot dot dot. And let me fill in the blanks there and assume you're insulting me. Okay, so we got a diamonds. Gold backpack with nothing in it. Thanks. Much appreciated. Except a trash, but we want gold to fix. And I put some of fixed stuff on my gear last time, but there was a weird glitch going on that made it so that the fix effects that actually got added were not the actual stuff, actual fix effects on there. Dot, dot, dot. If I recall correctly, Pingu says Newt Newt, which is more than a little different. But, mm -hmm. here is Larry. See, okay, he hasn't called me up or anything without my knowledge, so it's just... Alright. Go down here, I gotta break this, and then plunge down to the place. I was trying to help. You can continue assuming the worst. You're free. Hmm. Take that and... Oh, but... Oh, I didn't know. You actually have to interact with... Oh, it appears from there. Okay, cool. Come on, just... Punch. And... Really, really nice damage there, so... Oh, come on. Beat you up. And a few quick combos will do this. Oh, wow, okay. Then you broke that part of the floor. Well, I'm waiting for Larry to come on, and then we're fighting the true final boss. That's what it is. But that guy is actually supposed to be hard. It's just... I am, quite frankly, too cracked. So you dropped... Oh, another map to the Truons portal. Oh, Ender Flu. Another one of... Giant Slaying Gauntlet of Guard of Weakness. That's got more, actually. Interesting. That's strange. It, huh? More attack damage, more speed, but it's quite weird. I'm just telling the truth. Take it as you will. Okay, well, there isn't really much here. So I guess I'm gonna go back. I guess I could try looking for more end cities. Maybe. Go to parts of the end that we haven't been to yet. But, first, I think, oh. Go back to my house. Great view from up here. 50 blocks from the attacks of a shulker. Oh, so things got messed up by the teleportation. My god. An achievement I probably shouldn't have. It was. I did quite like it. I'm just gonna go back down. Do you wanna see whether I can... Frankly, I need a form of sugar cane. That would allow me to maybe try enchanting stuff a bit more. Big thing is, is that... I'd like to put some critical-related enchantments on my gauntlet. This thing is... can be really, really good. But I wonder is whether the... There was a glitch that was making it so that... The Minotaur... Yeah, that's really good. That's something I want. But... It keeps giving me the wrong... thing. Appearing incorrect... Decimating. Oh, right, that's decimating going to guard of the berserker. 
So if I, this is the one I was using. But this one. That's Minotaur. It's got 16 attack damage. With The big thing about this is that this thing is supposed to be slow. But it's a fist weapon, which means I can dual wield it with the other fist weapon. Which is really, really fast. And attack speed is determined by the right hand weapon. Which means... Which means that if I have this in the left hand, it'll do crazy amounts of damage, but also good amounts of feed. Well, it wasn't useless, it's just they didn't really think about the exploit. They probably didn't know about it. It'd be funny if they nerfed that, but I think to nerf that they would have to change how the mod itself actually works. Which isn't something I believe they really have the ability to do. It's not just a toggle that they can mess with. Oh, wait, did... Were these originally identical and they just stacked, or did something get erased? That's weird. Let's got to see. It's the orange rarity stuff that I want to try to turn into stuff I can use for fix items. But the other one, the other one, should be more in here, hopefully. But first of all, let me try disenchanting some of these. Thank you. That doesn't even have that on there. Salvage table, and take that. That's six Godforged Pearls. The question is, if I put Gauntlet in, will it actually... Will this work? I need more experience. And there is a glitch. There is a glitch that gives you completely unconnected effects. And I think it is very possible that this is just what ends up being shown. No, we don't, because it means that I can't tell what I'm going to get, and I'm probably going to get something kind of crap. Mm, so we have our experience in here. Do I have... They really aren't. They, they're not fun. Not this one, because it means that I can't actually make my gear good, and I'm still spending crazy amounts of resources to try to make it good, and it just doesn't work. Glitches are fun when they don't have serious detrimental effects on gameplay. Okay. So we're gonna try this again. Big thing is that that damage is less. The damage is actually quite weak, but if I... What in the goddamn? Keeps giving me... And it's got lower speed and less damage. I guess Apotheosis is just Fubar. I... It's very, very possible. Because, like I said, showing incorrect affix effects is a known behavior of Apotheosis. I just didn't expect it to be this bad. Because it was working just fine with the fist. And it's something that was actually patched in an update, but this mod pack does not have any of the relevant updates. And this mod pack... I'm, I don't even know if the people who actually made Dawncraft actually run Dawncraft on CurseForge, or if it was someone else's upload. I feel like that would be trivial to check, but... I just wonder if... I wonder if it's been updated at all. Probably hasn't. Let me see. And it was... latest release is actually... May 12th, 2024. Do we have to... Has it been updated? Oh. Current is... So in other words, we should probably update things eventually, maybe. Yeah, because currently I'm using 1.33, and they're actually on 2.08, which I presume, given that this is 5.12, in the mod fix, the fix for Apotheosis was put out between the time where we started playing and the time where I 
and right now. Which means that we definitely have not gotten an update. And I guess, I don't think Larry knows that it's not getting auto-updates. Or that I don't think he even knows that the mod pack has been updated. Interesting. Well, whatever. It really doesn't matter all that much. It's just annoying. Just trying to see what I can scrap and get orange materials for. Huh. Citadels are a good place to get them, but... Huh. Alright. Yeah. Food service is legitimately hell. But he should be working at a different place relatively soon. Hopefully. Then we got only three. Well, whatever. Just gonna keep trying to make this better. Hope that we... Yeah, it, it only shows this. It only ever shows the Minotaur one, but... Okay, we finally got the 16 attack damage one, which is good. Thank you. This is this is quite serviceable, finally. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. That's 16 base attack damage, and it's completely unenchanted. Question is... If I had a Tome of Scrapping, I'd be able to take Sharpness 8 off of one of my two fists, which I've got stored in the backpack, turn it into, put it on this to juice the damage up to about, juice the damage to something like 21 per, which is, per hit, which is crazy, and also make the thing glow, because right now it isn't glowing at all. Which normally might be quite nice, but with the armor it looks kind of weird. It's also slightly clipping through the armor. It's whatever. Hmm, but it's just, I'm waiting for him to show up. I'm waiting for him to show up. So, we should store most of that. That is, that's full. These are the empty ones use this to store it all. Okay. Do you want to try doing some enchanting in his absence to try to get more sharpness on this thing? The issue is that, like I said, there are also these critical related enchantments, but I can't get the max level right now, I believe, because it requires, if I recall correctly, requires a higher level of enchanting table. Which, I, I guess, actually, if I'm going over to the end. Could harvest a bunch of coarse fruit or something. Maybe. Try making some more books. The issue is... Bookshelves. The issue is... Actually, I, I do have these books here, so I could do a bit of enchanting. Try to make the thing stronger and then maybe go for critical stuff. I'm not sure. And do I have blaze powder in here somewhere? Or did I use it all to make the books? I think I used all the blaze powder I have to make. Weapon-related books, but yeah, I gotta go back, make some weapon codices, and then, where is, where is, Blaze Red's in here somewhere, I'll take that, check that, make some powder, but, I haven't run the farm in a very, very long time, actually. So if I, 64 books, which would mean... All these in there would be 32 blaze powder, which is just as much as I need. Then I can go back to his house and do a bit of enchanting while he hopefully shows up eventually. We'll see. That in there, we take this and then do... Sure, 64 of those, why not? Then I guess I could farm, farm some sugar cane somewhere else if I wanted to make more bookshelves, maybe. Or maybe go to a Dungeon library? Maybe. Oh, but we do have those, so what's the issue right now? Is it... No, I do have lapis and arrow. Okay. Bane of Illager, Sweeping Edge, Melding, but... Yeah, there isn't anything I really... I could try. Might get a bit of sharpness on there, but... Need 128 points to put sharpness 8 on that cool fist. 
So I don't need this. I could actually scrap it. And then the critical, critical, we got critical burst, which goes up to five, which would take two, four, eight, sixteen levels. And then critical strike also goes up to five. We need sixteen levels. That said, it's just it's not something I really need properly. We'll see. Hmm. So I'll stop that. At 45, I guess. I've got enough that I can afford to kind of throw things at the wall. Alright, so we'll wait for that to tick down and put one of those in there, see what I get if I take this. Fires 45, and you want to enchant at the level where you can kind of just barely knock it in. It's taking a lot longer to drain my experience than I would have expected. Well, whatever. And no, no sharpness on there. Villagers I'm breaking, so I really should just go for the absolute minimum. Okay. Take that down to nine, see if it can fill up or not. Hmm. Meantime, I suppose I'll put this other book in here or that again, I don't really need. Well, in the meantime, well well, I don't have to wait for that to tick down anymore, do I? So that in there, take the Bane of Illagers, nothing really on there. It's just, nothing is giving me... This is so strange. At least it's cheap, but still. Just, I need sharpness. Okay. That in there, and then... When am I going to get an actual sharpness book? It's just not, not, not going to me. It's so strange. Okay. Then, keep putting stuff in here until... Okay, finally, Sharpness 5. Stop it at 45 and take it all. Put some more enchanted books back in his library. Thank you. Then I... Just back in there. Then take a few more from here. None of these are actually... A critical Burst won't do it properly. And oh, another... Another mending book. Okay, that'll be good for him. I know he wants that. So I can give that over to over to Larry once he shows up. It's nice because he wanted mending in at least one thing, and we have two mending books, so we'd be able to put that in twice. Okay. Sharpness, and then breaking, no sharpness. Just take this down to 11 again. Easy amount of experience stored up. Sharpness 5, Critical Burst, Critical Strike. And yeah, that's actually almost, if we had a little bit more, we could get max level Critical Burst on that. And that'd be 5, then 9, 19. That's close to basically maxing that out. Maxing out its enchantment points, because 9 Sharpness would be 9 points, then Critical Burst and Critical Strike 5 would be... 10 more, and there's nothing else I'd really want to put on there, but still. Mm -hmm. Back down to 11. Then Fire Aspect Sweeping Edge, and yeah. So silly. Thank you. I to go through all these crap books to get the sharpness we want and need. And 17. When are you going to give me more sharpness? Breaking, melding, well, it, whatever. Mm -hmm. Fire aspect, sharpness 4, yeah, I'll take that. And bring up a 31, and it'll be easier to just wait for it to drain down this way. So the sharpness I'm at right now is 63, which is about halfway to what I need for, for 8. And it is kind of a diminishing returns thing. It's definitely a diminishing returns thing, but there's no reason to settle for less than what we can theoretically get right now. Backpack, and the other backpack has... Yeah, that was all the books. The rest is other kinds of detritus. Sharpness. No, never. It's about self-respect and dignity. Never settle for less. The absolute best. 
Breaking, knockback, knockback, okay. Back down to 16. At yeah, the minimum possible, just to reshuffle the RNG seed. Don't have what? Breaking. Hmm. What options? Okay. Sharpness 4. 45. Oh, didn't he in self respect? Well, it can be an aspiration. It's the kind of thing you can make happen. Wait for that to tick down, and that'll be eight more points. It's definitely in the long run. The best way to do this would be just getting more. Getting a better enchantment set up, truly, but whatever. That's Dennis 16, I'll enchant another book. But now that I've put all those enchanted books I have in my backpack in the library, the only thing I can really do is wait. Well, whatever. Wait for it to tick down, and then looting, smite, uh, Bane of Arthur Pons will at least take it through. So many books. Okay, 45 on that for 8 more points. We did get a crazy amount of experience from fighting the Ender Dragon, so... This isn't too crazy. And we'll wait for that to tick down, take sharpness 4. Then we'll be able to slap that bad boy on my gauntlet and juice the damage even higher. Sharpness 4, good stuff. Wonder what might be next. I'm breaking and breaking fire aspects so all the way down to 14. Then we can put more in while that happens at least. Okay. So, only. Only 41 more levels for the sharpness I want to put on there. Mm -hmm. Take that, then smite. Sharpness 3, that's not horrible. Take that to 32, and then we'll let it tick down again. Let's see it ticking down over here. Mm -hmm. Sharpness 3, that'll be 4 more points, so it'll be 37 more. Yeah, I, I'm just doing this to kill time while I wait for it to show up. Okay, it's been about half an hour since he said, server's on, but I'll be on in a bit. It is what it is. M maybe he's getting ready for a hot date or something. Let's see what happens. That'll be sharpness four on there, which believe in what? That it'll show up or that he's getting ready for a hot day? More sharpness. Oh, okay, okay. Smite one. Down to level twelve. Uh, then we can put that in. Eight more points, so we're getting closer. It's actually not all that bad, but okay, twenty-seven more points. 27 more points needed. Then, Illager's knockback, I'm breaking. Yeah, yeah. And I'll just. There we go. Fair, fair. I don't blame you. Frankly, frankly, so was I. <laughs> I want that too. But, it's just. Not going to take on that final boss until he shows up. It would be kind of a betrayal. With the manager? As in because he isn't here? Or to complain that he hasn't arrived yet? Okay. Breaking knockback ends. Only... Yeah, 19... No. 21 more points. We'll be able to take out the book we want. There we go. Knock back and really? Okay. I don't know. You could give some really nasty insult, but given that you're also Italian, it would just go back on you. Two, but no, we want four, so that's 32 needed. I guess. I don't know. Test it out. How hard have you tried? And yeah, we need 
21 more, and this will be 8 more, so then I'll be only 13. Villagers, knockback, looting, yeah. Hmm. It was 12 for that, I think? Hmm. Let me see. No, it was 18. 18. 18 needed. And there we go. Take that. Then knockback melding smite at 12. Hmm. At least I'm not wasting too many things. Some of these books, which to be fair, would be nice. Use them for bookshelves. I don't know, you could... You could change for the worse. It's always possible. Breaking knockback and... Okay, sharpness 2 is... Not much more, but... Mm. Alright. Take that, and that'll... Put us a little closer to our goal. 17. Mm. Top. Then, okay, sharpness 4. Should be most of the way. A rash or a fever? So would you have an allergic reaction, or... What are you implying? Sharpness, so... And one seven, one two five. Okay, understandable. So in that case, in that case, we only need... Three more points, which is nice. But... It's going to take a bit to get to the rest. Uh, it's 14. Does it reshuffle with a Bane of Arthur Bones? Mm, okay. Let's see it change what we can do real time. That's fun. Melding, Sleeping Edge, and just, just knockback? Okay. Hmm. Alright. Another one. And then... Knockback. And then... Oh! Sharpness, too. So... Well, that's just barely not enough. It's actually really funny. So, exactly, we need one singular point of sharpness. It's ridiculous. Okay. Take that down, and oh, but since we went below, we need to take them back out. Come on, give me a single level of sharpness. I'm begging you. We need another. It's more arduous than it had to be. Oh, just sweeping edge, and sure, I guess we could take more. So we'll need more points eventually, probably, if if it was ever possible to get sharpness 9. Actually, I can test that out and create it while he's gone. Yeah, what happened? And we just barely had enough for that. Take that, and that'll be what we need. Take out the book we want. Okay. We'll see if it traumatizes me. Then I think... I guess the question is, what am I going to name... The Gauntlet? Hmm. What's a fist weapon that... Does this have... Doesn't have any fire damage on it. Fear I didn't want any fire damage on it. 16, 16 attack damage. 16 attack damage, okay. And was this in Italy, or somewhere else? So what do I want to name this thing? What do I want to name this thing? Sharpness 8 on that, and okay, it'd be 9, 9 needed. Interesting. But no, I'm very curious as to where this was. What is a fist weapon? Elden Ring fist weapons. Let me see. Is this Cestus, Black Cestus, Iron Bar, Starfist, Clinging Bone, Veteran's Prothes, Prosthesis, Grafted Dragon. It's cool, but it's got fire on it. What's that? Because I have that dragon bone fist. Guess. Oh, I like could... Right, Dark Hand is a fist weapon. Okay. So should this be... Should this be the demon's fist? 
So Dragonbone Fist and Hand of God. Should this be the Demon's Fist or the Dark Hand? You choose the Demon's Fist or Dark Hand? I like Dark Hand a bit better. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm glad you agree. Because at this point, I was going to choose it anyway. There we go! I put that on and we... Have that up and now we're all enchanted. Entirely. Oh, but, right, that's gotta go on there and then we... Where did my fist go? Right, it's my first slot. Well, I'm glad you feel that way. And this one's got higher attack speed, and this... Split between this, it starts off with a 21, actually. I guess the big thing is... I want to see how fast... I can beat up and kill that ogre now. It's over in... Over this way. Now that I've got such a comical level of strength. Because this should be something like... 34... DPS, maybe? Also, what I'm wondering is... Oh, interesting. If I pull back like that, just can't be in combat mode. Okay, so someone just woke up. I think we can go kill them. Especially since if I don't, they might try killing villagers. Mother Fran the Unholy. Alright. Oh my goodness! That was insane! One tapped? What? Okay. Alright. That's a bit excessive. Yeah, because right, since this is in combat mode and everything does double damage in combat mode, this is dealing 42 damage on a first strike. Oh, but I should sleep somewhere. Sleep somewhere. Let me see if I can... Oh, come on. If I... Punch that off. Don't need phantom membranes, but... Should find a place to sleep, probably. And, okay, someone is right there. So how am I gonna... Alright. Is there gonna be a bed somewhere in here that I can... Use real quick, or... What is... Oh my goodness. Who are you? What was that giant thing back there? And I... Oh, a mutant zombie. Yeah, it's actually a bit excessive. Quite frankly. And, oh, okay. Cool. Hmm... Just, I should have checked and made sure it was daytime. Oh, and of course you totally avoid my stuff. Well, whatever. Alright. What do I want to... Hmm. Ah, oh, what? What? Okay. Huh. Stop. Really? Really? I can't approach you at all. Okay. Can I... Dodge. Thank you. Thank you. Punch. And really? Well, at least I killed one of them. Still, it's just... What? Okay. At least I can kill that mutant zombie really easily if I can actually get it. Okay. Come on, come on. So where do I want to go to... See? It's that easy. Okay. The slowness is really annoying, though. Come on, what if I... Oh, please. Survive or something, but... Die. How many more times do I... Gotta kill that, kill that phantom. Was that all, or? I think that was all. Okay, that should be the end for real. Bronze in the distance, I don't like that. Okay, just die already. How do I wanna get this going? Thank you. Where do I sleep? Where do I sleep? At least for now. And where is the... Okay, there's no... It's asleep right here. Is there... And there's a villager sleeping. Nice. You know, I was kind of happy that this place was still relatively inhabited at first, but it's making it really hard to make it daytime like I might like to. Plane, and... Another one! Another one! Nice! Okay. Die? And are we gonna burn to death, or...? No, no, not really. Yeah, it was. Well, I guess it is on me for not sleeping. 
because that is what caused the issue. And of course there's an undead army. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Don't need that whole camera, but whatever. Hmm. And it's set from the east, which would be over this way, I presume. Let's see this cosmic car. Don't even think I can actually cook it at all. Well, that makes some things easier, frankly. Okay. Hmm. Oh, what a baby, baby. Okay. Come on, come on. And die. Bunch, bunch. And the rest are gonna be over here. So the question is... Will there actually be anything worth picking up? And... Oh! There was some lag for a second. There's a gem here. That is... Eh, not very good. I'm breaking. So where is that final enemy? Is it you over this way, or...? That yeah, is okay. Cool. Lightning gang. Okay. Then, baby skeleton. Hello. Come on, and more annoying. Oh, an ice elemental. If only I still cared about those guys. Cool. Goodness. Oh, and I can't can't eat anything right now when I'm being shot at. I guess that makes sense. More or less. Come on and... Yep, 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 yep. Hmm. I think... It's gotta be related to the... AoE, I think, I might have? I'm not sure, actually. Well... Oh, good. Okay, we, we were able to eat. Hmm. Where we... Oh, well, I... Ah, oh, stupid. It picks me up again, we just need to hit it. Like this, like yay. Come on, come on, skill the moonflower. Is this not part of the undead army, I guess? Huh. That knowledge of the ages is not something I really want or need, frankly. Guess I could use some of these blood vials to heal up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So where's the final skeleton? Is it that guy over there or what? There are a lot of... Stacy. Oh! Zombie villager! Okay. That's not good. Well, whatever. Oh, but right up. How did that not hit? Well, I killed a zombie villager. Oh, well. Where's the... Where's the other one of the army? That's the question. Can't find it. Well, I don't really care all that much. To be honest with you. Where is... Is it you over here? Or... Huh. Just so many of them that I can't tell who's what and where. That's... Okay, we got another book. That's Smite, I presume. Yeah, it is. Okay. Flame and... It's not as if any of these... Any of these guys pose any threat to me whatsoever. It's just... If I'm going to be trying to fight this undead army, I want to actually find stuff I'm supposed to be killing. Alright. Alright. Hmm. Not you, not you. I'm not trying to. I promise. It's just how this all worked out. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, come on. And I... Things are really starting to lag. I... Okay. Another one? You've got to be kidding. If I can't even find the first to finish it off, I'm not going to deal with the second. I think I'm just going to pull a runner. Yeah, I came here. I did not come here to fight an undead army. I came to try to see how fast I could kill the ogre, so... Yeah. The lag is... More than a little unpleasant, though, I will say. To be frank, I should probably... 
try to... Oh, another phantom. Fun. Well, there, there's a bit more sugar cane that I could get. Sir. Some books, if I actually did want it. Juice. The enchantment set up a little, which I think I do, at least eventually, even if not right now. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, another skeleton. Thanks. Hello. Hello. Let's take all of that. And, oh, it's really, really lagging. I'm gonna disconnect real quickly and log back in and see if that helps anything at all. Hopefully it should. Huh. Okay, okay. Yeah, that... I think that was good. Maybe. I hope. Phantom. Oh, but the rain is preventing the phantom from burning up. That's less than pleasant. Okay, but... Oh, is this that undead army? It's actually really, really annoying. Okay. Well, alright. Let me just... Avoid you entirely. What is it with this specific area and... Lots of undead armies spawning in. That's what it seems like to me. And what is this? For that matter, what's that on the other side? That... Strange grass... Well, I'm gonna avoid that creeper. And why are you so quick? Oh, another skeleton trap. All right. Cool. Hmm. So that means another undead eye? I mean, not like I need any of them anymore, but... Okay. Cool. Oh, and they're fighting each other somehow? Weird. Okay. Hmm. What if I... Oh, but... The goblin killed... Goblin killed. Okay. Alright. What kind of weapon is... Oh, some kind of hammer. Well, whatever. Huh? Okay, I guess. Let's pick up this book. Cycling. Eh. Don't really need that. And if I recall correctly, and what was common read? That... I guess I can pick up that read? Maybe. Come on, come on. Just die already. It is quite amusing. Undeniably. And, uh Harder to hit than I might have liked. Hmm, and... That guy's already over there. Sir Judy. Somehow that doesn't sound quite right. Thank you, thank you, and... Wow, okay. But I don't exactly need that. I'll just leave that, honestly. And who is shooting at me and from where? I did like doing that a lot, actually. Back when I was able to kill enemies most effectively by just launching them. But now I've got my death fists, which are more than serviceable. Is this the... I think this is the place. Yep, it is. Okay. In that case, I think I'll simply... Really? 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 I know it's snowing, but still. Gotta be kidding. Well, at least that guy's dead. Okay. I'm gonna read Projectile Evasion. Phantom Membrane and... Uh, that's trash. Well... Ah. Okay. Spine's decent, I guess. Come on, come on. How much do I have to put up with? Uh, okay. Just don't want to deal with those phantoms. Whatever. I'm gonna go back into here. We're gonna see how fast I can... Kill that ogre. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. And I think... Yep, you're gonna do that, pull that back, and then all we have to do is... It's just two combos. That's insane. And what did you ask additionally draw? That's the question. Dropped an essence, which I guess I could use to make certain items. Oh, the lever. Okay, so nothing I particularly need or want. It's cool seeing the snow coming through that tiny hole. 
But I am just going to leave this accursed place now. Go back and sleep in my own bed. Okay, oh, what a crappy gem. Okay. Back home. And oh, is. Oh, it stopped at 9, because I didn't actually have it set to do it all the way. Makes sense. Cool. Hmm. Oh, and I presume number one is me dying. I bet that, I think that's a pretty safe bet. Now that I'm in here, I'll just use the food I've already gotten here to fuel back up. Got the bread. Thank you. Back up. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Okay. Not a lot of saturation from that bread. It's not bad, but it's not amazing. Hmm. It's just as soon as he shows up, as soon as he shows up. And I take a trip in the end and find that boss, but until he does. Understandable. Mm -hmm. That's it. It drops to divest myself of, and frankly. I could toss that, but frankly, I'll save it in case. Larry wants one of those gauntlets or something. I don't know. Put it in. Put it up top. In that case, in the former eye chest, which is now full of just a bunch of crap lost eyes that I don't need for anything anymore. In the books, actually, I should put those back in the chest at Larry's house. Go back there. Then, put it back in here. Second, actually. So the books in there are enough for 16 bookshelves. If I want to make a pearl SM end shelf, it would take a gel, two ender pearls, and a rod, which could be blaze rods and those. Popcorn fruit, and I need plenty of ender pearls. I've got plenty of ender pearls, but the end shelf itself needs a bookshelf, dragon's breath, end stone bricks, and ender pearls. And none, of, none of those are particularly hard to get. I guess the question would be: I'm gonna check where I said what the ideal. I figured out what the ideal setup was. Okay. 17 per lesson end shells, so it's just, just barely not enough books. So I've got enough to craft some more things. So every per lesson end shelf would be. Draconic end shelf is. No, no. The per lesson end shelf is. Oh goodness, that's taken more than I might like. That can be used to make the draconic end shelf with. Somewhat similar recipe, but it needs a dragon head, which we don't have, period. Two of those in a regular end shell, so... Hmm. Exeterna and Arcana. So for 19 of those total, would be, well, 19 bookshelves, which would be 57 books, then... Nine more books. Nine more books. Hmm. Alright. I'll just see what I can maybe find in the meantime before he comes back. Oh. Okay. Got all this. I can disenchant it and then just put it in literally the trash. Okay. None of these, and none of these are good for much of anything. Then, which one had my... This one has my lava bucket for trashing things. Okay. Could, if I do want to find a couple more ender cities, which I believe I do, 
I should quarter my backpacks at the very least. Got some 16 ender pearls in there. How many do I need per? per? As in waiting for him to actually show up. So it's 19. That's three per. So 57 ender pearls in total, which should actually be pretty trivial to farm for Enderman at this point. Understandable. I, I can I can see that. Uh huh. Sugar cane. I got a bit of sugar cane from here. Guess the question. Oh right. If I wanted to make paper, actually, there are more ways to do that. I could just get paper from bark. That's right. I actually, kind of forgot about that. It, don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Fifty-seven at the moment. Seven. So five more after I make books with this paper. Where's the others oh, in here? Okay. Huh. That ends right. Let's work it out. Book. Five more, and then I can turn those into shelves. So it's fifteen more things of this bark. Do I have any wood in here right now that I could use to just get bark? Got. Question is, if I put this in there on the cutting board, am I going to get what I want and need? Knives in there. Oh, but right, no, use an axe for that, I forgot. Huh. Put the axe back and. Doesn't seem cuttable. Oh, it's not. These ones don't work for those purposes. Interesting. Birch, in that case. Do it like this, and then we need a bit more. Oh, but how much do you need for tree bark paper? Paper from tree bark is. Three tree bark to one paper, so that's. What is this? Oh, oh, regular birch bark. Interesting. And sugarcane and either of those recipes, and I assume one would be shapeless. Well, whatever. In that case, we'll chop down some more birch trees or other kinds of trees. Okay. Punch, and I am not dealing with that right now. I'm simply not. Oh, another Enderman. Cool. We'll just let them claim victory on their own terms. And where did you go? Did you die or did you disappear? I guess you died? Okay. Uh, yep. Anything for trees. So we would need... Need five more books, that's fifteen paper. That's and for paper, it's forty-five, okay. So that's by far the most inefficient way to do it. Okay. Alright. At least we can get some right now. Then maybe make up the difference with additional sugar cane, hopefully. I'm not holding my breath. Mm -hmm. And were there any other next non-archwood tree anywhere around here? Oh, 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 that down and pick that up and start getting tree bark. Okay, again. More paper, make more books. Make some shelves, which would require, and if it's 17 per less than inch shells. That's 68 blaze rods. And the same amount of popped chorus fruit. Let's see how much we can get from the farm. How many blaze rods we might have in here? Because I might actually have to 
run the farm again a little for the first time in a decent duration. Yeah, okay. So I'm actually gonna have to run the farm for those blaze rods. Interesting. Okay. Guess it's a good thing that I've increased the capacity pretty significantly some time ago. But real question is, has any of this sugar cane grown back? And the answer is exactly one piece. Okay. It's three. 45 to make the remaining books I need. I am literally just looking for things to do right now. Three. Ten. Five more books. I feel like someone is beating a door down. I think I hear that. Well, if they show up in my house, then I'll kill them. It won't even be. It won't even be close. is still not going to be enough tree bark. And Keisha, oh, Hajime Mashtenshi, JR6658. How are you doing? I am waiting for someone to show up right now. And that person is Larry. Because Larry is not here right now. So in the meantime, I'm working on trying to get paper for an enchanting setup. Maybe, possibly. Either way, thank you for the follow. Nice to meet you. How are you doing on this wonderful... Tuesday for me. Mm, and stripped birch. Stripped. Oh, but Ryan, that's already stripped, so. Oh, but I need an empty hand to take it off, so all these are stripped now, so I'm doing okay. I actually went out for to dinner with Larry a little while ago, so I'm kind of confused on why he's not here, because he was able to put this server up. I was joking that I wondered if you had a hot date right now or something, but we need 15 more pieces of paper. Got a couple of saplings that I should put through, and then I figured out the absolute best enchanting setup in this mod pack a little bit ago. And among other things, it would need a couple of dragon heads from end cities, which would mean finding an end ship, which would also mean finding elytra. Last time we looked for end cities and found a decent number. But not a single one had an end ship. So that is a possible goal. But, okay. The big thing is that, among other things, I have gotten to a point where pretty much nothing can kill me. And I can kill pretty much anything. Which is not unenjoyable, but definitely changes things. I don't think he got sick. There is a non-zero possibility, however, that he fell asleep. And this undead army is not a threat to me, but it's definitely an annoyance, so. It is what happened last time. He said he was just going to lie down a little, and then he just didn't come back. A Toast Skull? That is an interesting name for a wish to have. And these bosses are supposed to be pretty intimidating, but they simply aren't. The ability to fall asleep pretty much anywhere? Well, probably not, because it isn't exactly something he can control. So, wish carefully. A little bit more armor, a little bit more armor, and uh, let's plant this, and we need... 15 papers, so 15 more things of bark of any kind. And do we have a... Do we have our grow spell on us right now? So... Uh, let's spend that until the tree shows up. Is that actually a grow spell? It is a grow spell, it just wasn't working. Weird. Alright. So in that case, we'll try this again. And more drums, another undead army. And I know that they change things based on progression changes, but this is just ludicrous. Okay. How much wood do we have left? About four more, which is not enough. Just die already! Go away! Okay. How much more do I... We got another sapling. Good number of other things to try trashing, and... I... Uh, go away. Go away. Okay. 
At least they can't really damage me. Yeah, it... I mean, in the end, what I can say is that he's he's used to it. Doesn't make it pleasant, but he has experience of dealing with it. Okay. Then... Oh, oh. So do I have to... Okay, so doing it first person does seem to work a good deal better, but still not perfect. So we get to 15, we'll have all the paper we need for all the books we need, and then I can... Go back to the end to beat up a truly heroic number of Endermen, which would be about... If it's 17 or so... More is in 19 for the initial end shells, and then... 18, and then 17 times 2... 18 plus 34, about 53, so about a stack. Yeah, he... I like the guy. He has... He has his struggles. I respect that, and I try to help. And that, that is why I don't, I try not to be too harsh. And we have, how did they just hit me? We literally have exactly not enough. It's really funny. That said, I think, depending on, and it still hasn't grown back, but that could and would make a difference if, okay. We get one more piece, and then... I think I hear a mutant zombie. Yeah. The monsters nearby, and they can't be in my house. Oh, wait, what? Huh? Okay. Weird. So, anyone there? Someone by the door, but I should. Let me see. Sleeping through the night, which I assume would just be the storm. Yeah, I don't even know how it got in. I presume it would be clipping through or something, or came in when... Yeah, I bet it's the mutant zombies pushing things in, and I... Alright, alright. Just don't damage my house, please. That's all I ask of you. Hi, Beast Patient. Been a long time since I ran into any bloodborne enemies. Okay, but I already put those saplings away, which means... Oh my goodness. How do I want to... Uh, I wasn't able to... Damn, I didn't have my paraglider in there. Ah, stupid. How do I want to... Mm, what if I dodge it? Oh, really? From behind? Yeah. Well, the thing about it is that I don't think he'd be able to kill me. And really, that... I guess you really are just supposed to fight it from range. That's something, I guess. And I... Come on! You have to be kidding me. Okay. Please, just out of my way, out of my way. Come on, silverfish. Thank you. Thanks, and... Punch, punch, punch it. Mm, okay. Nice! At least we can... If we can get in, we can just punch it down very quickly. Well, when I first started playing, actually... In the, because I thought it was fun, I... Explored around a bit before getting the glider. Which made things very, very different. Because I actually had to climb down things instead of just trying to hop off and glide. That said, I still wouldn't recommend it. What's interesting is that even though the health bar isn't back up, since it's not dead, you can actually ignite the corpse. And oh, right, it's invisible right now. Right, okay. And now you're dead, now you're dead. Okay. I I prefer to say that I enjoy a good challenge. I think that's very different. I think that's quite different. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do I want to make this happen? Should be I think I think it's actually quite different. I, I think it's very different. And what kind of book is this? It's Oh, efficiency, that might be useful. I've still- I've, I've never made a god pickaxe, because I just don't need to. I don't do any real mining. Okay. So let's get- oh, that was easy. Huh. And then... Take that bug down, and that'll be what we need. Thank you. That's all. My dead army's still here, but that's life. Okay. Oh, but what? what, what? 
Oh, another Vileware Witch. Okay, die. Oh, what did you remember? Go back in here and- oh, there's the zombie. Easy kill. And what if I... For better or worse, I think that's pretty common. Let's eat. Right, we should be eating our bread right now. Since I guess actually, since I'm not really worried about dying anymore. The advantage of salmon and that it doesn't disappear on death is kind of gone. What kind of music was it? Rare England W. Mm -hmm. Let's see these things. So one more of these, strip that, and I'll have enough bark. Okay. We do that, and then we can craft the remaining books we need. And I did not need to put that in there. And I hear somebody maybe in my base? I think they're in my base. Put these logs back. Don't need these. A couple of these things that I can disenchant and then throw away summarily. Thank you, thank you. And we open up the backpack with a lava bucket and toss those things in. Okay. So that and that. And then a melding book. Well, if he didn't stop you, I assume he didn't really mind. So there you go. Oh, wait, you fell asleep standing up. Okay, that's, that's different. Interesting. And then, one, two, three, four, five. That's enough for now. Put that in there, and then take the books. Okay, cool. We need a bit more... Bit of wood later for the bookshelves, but that won't be a problem. So now I guess I could look for more end cities, maybe. Hmm. Have a good salmon. That's fair. Sometimes it seems that happens even if you aren't. And we should clear out the rest of this stuff. So this loot. Sometimes, even if you aren't exhausted. Let's see what I can disenchant and otherwise trash. How is... well, whatever. Hmm. Thank you, thank you. All these items. Just really need to make sure I don't disenchant something I need. Oh, you can... Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's actually really funny. I could get a bunch of books really easily by taking enchanted books that have enchantments we don't need. Oh, I should have done that a long time ago. I just didn't know that was really an option. Putting that stuff in the enchantment library. Taking books with enchantments we, uh, we don't need out of the enchantment library, and then putting them in the grindstone and getting some of that experience back and also getting all the books. Interesting. Okay, okay. That makes sense. And I did not need to take that out. Oh, strike telepathic. Oh, interesting. That was... I didn't know it was relevant. Netherite boots. Don't really need those. Could keep that axe, actually. Actually, that, take that, then, wonder when I'll actually be able to switch out my current experience tank. That, and that's just got, it is interesting that life mending counts as a curse. Doesn't go in there, so some of these are just standard. Okay. Suppose I'll trash couple of those. And we... Trash, trash. Throwing away a diamond sword like it's trash is the kind of thing you'd only get in highly modded Minecraft. So that's okay for now, I guess. But... Uh, uh, okay. 
Well, that's of course right. But if I take the gems out at least, then I suppose the books away too, I should have. This should be a passable amount of room, even if I don't fully unload, so. Uh, they are. I should probably go kill them. That away, that away, that away. We got a few more gems to disabuse ourselves of. Then, oh, but that's basically full. I need to destroy a number of my gems. Okay, and then we have... We'll keep that on me. Well, if they do, then maybe I should put them out of my misery. Well, I would if I cared enough to do it, which I don't. Okay. We'll put these books in there. Okay. Turn those into shelves and the time is right. And then, and then, surprise him with a bunch of plus and angels. In that case, well, I should take a bit more food first. That's what I should do. Also got, wait, what? Oh, I put it on there, that's funny. Take that out at least. And I guess I will unload everything I'm carrying to the extent that I can. We really need that. Okay. Then we'll try to complete the enchanting setup as much as I can do it in relatively limited amount of time we have left. Because as soon as he shows up, as soon as he shows up, we're fighting that boss. Just need to find things to do until then. What kind of food do I have on hand that I could just pick up? You know, I could just fry up two stacks of baked potatoes right now. That's what I'll do. That do I have? Tremendous smelt real briefly just for the sake of the potatoes. Okay. Alright. Almost, almost, and it's interesting that the stat graphics still say 64. Won't change until they're all turned into baked. It's interesting. One four at a time. I would have expected eight at a time. Well, whatever. As you see, it still says potato 64, but obviously every baked potato created is a normal potato gone. It's only when all of them are gone that the stack actually updates. It's interesting. Well, it's time to go back to the end. And if we go to the islands, they're relatively placed in a grid, which would mean... Gateway initial. Huh. That first and city was. Was it marked or not? That's weird. Oh, it was over that way, but. Is this not the initial gateway? Wait. It's a citadel, and that's the. You know, all kinds of turned around then. Oh, whatever. That. I guess we did go this way initially. So I suppose the best way to find it might be going sort of to the right from here. Well, it's a... I would presume it's a power saving measure first and foremost. If it updated more all the time, every single time, it would probably end up being pretty heavy on the hardware. Okay. So we're gonna find, hopefully, another end city. Lots of chorus fruit around here, and a full stack would be more than enough. Just have to pop them all. Then we got... What in there? Okay, we got 49, which... Oh, okay. Every time we see an Enderman, we should kill that Enderman. Because, if we do, we... Are you dead? Yeah, you are. Okay. Need a lot of ender pearls. About a stack. Okay, cool, and die. And we got a ender pearl, and ender pearl, and a helmet, which I don't really need. Okay. 
It's interesting that for the longest time I just couldn't beat Ender and Period. And now they're trash that I'm beating up very easily. Okay, and then... Three course route. Close, relatively. So, if we take you all on... Two. So about 30... About 40 would be very, very safe. Yeah, I could go for a stack. That said, I'll probably get some treasure chests. Should only really try farming if I absolutely have to. Yeah, but the... Chorus route I will need to... Oh, right, you're still ready. Okay, how to kill you? Come on, come on. 17 and... Yep, we have all the chorus route we need now. Alice over here, and then... I need to go this way, then. Okay. It's interesting that they don't seem to aggress when you see them. Like they do in base Minecraft, which I suppose they maybe change so that they wouldn't just immediately gank you if they spawned in and looked at them. So they'd be really hard to deal with early on. Oh, but also, in addition to the blaze rats, still need to run the farm for. I'll need about six times eighty-four or so. And stone bricks, which I guess I could just mine two stacks of endstone, and that would be a safe way to get what I need. Okay. That said, I should probably uh, do that self. Go faster if I actually do what Larry does, god forbid. Fake flight. Launch. Leap in a direction. And amplify. It's the limit of amplify. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Cool. Yeah, that... That's pretty good. That was also quite fast. Nothing like Elytra, but still. Mm -hmm. To be frank, I guess I will put Elytra on my chest plate. Especially since I don't have any kind of... Mm -hmm. Let's see. I don't have any kind of a fix on it which might go away if I crafted that chest plate with Elytra. It still would be nice to get the glyph that allows you to use a spell to mimic the effects of a trip, but still. So that guy, yeah, is not worth fighting, I presume. Come over this way, and then we have to go. So he's gone pretty much south, but he hasn't gone east or really all that far north. Big thing is, they spawn in kind of a grid. So... Going east from there might be a good way to maybe find another. It's not like they, they don't all spawn close to spawn in the center, but they do have a rough grid pattern. Yeah, there was no end ship over here, which means no elytra, no dragon head. It would be really funny if he really was just sleeping right now. But I... He does have Do Not Disturb on, which is worrying. Did we go to this citadel already? I think we did. I think we did. What would? Oh, I didn't know they had cool music for the end. Or was that just going to the citadel? Oh, whatever. Let's kill this guy. And what did he drop? A little. It, for better or worse, it would not be all that much of a surprise. Go to the earth and... Oh! Drop from that. Like the right axe of the God King. Well, I wouldn't be using that as an item. Oh, whatever. I mean, as a... Wouldn't be using it. 
try fighting this guy again. And what'd you drop? You dropped. Quick charge? Okay, that isn't bad per se. I guess the issue is that just nothing can match the DPS. Normal fists in the right hand, special fists in the left. But that's actually just part of a course plan that did not really grow. Well, as long as it works for you, I suppose. Okay. Then we have our super jump and we have our fake flight. They are not the same thing. Got enough mana, capacity, and regeneration that we can really just use it with impunity. Okay, we're gonna keep on going east. Fly over the gap, and... Oh, well, I wasn't expecting the fall damage. Still not quite as cool as Elytra, but... To be frank, few things are. Get used to that. Thing is, if we find another big island, that might be... Our way to get there, but I just don't want to fall in the void. That's a big thing, kinda. And we got kind of turned around, but there's another big island over here. So let me see if... Hmm. Does not appear as if... Yeah, there's no end city on here. Should cling more to the other side. I guess I could check chunk numbers more directly. Because again, it's they spawn in a rough grid in the sense that there are only certain chunk of values they can spawn in. And be really funny and also very possible that I was just very slightly off. Is FN something? Hmm. I know there's something I can press and I used it before to find specific chunks chunk borders, but in theory I would need to find four end cities with ships in total because there's a setup that allows you to get these potion effect charms and make them unbreakable but you need an exceptionally specific enchanting table setup which I believe requires four of the bookshelves that literally need dragon heads to craft. So. Come on, come on. Go over this way and not on here. Where's the next big island? It is a shame that I can't really look at where I'm going when I'm using this spell. Huh. So I have to look an angle up in order to keep my angle travel usable. We, we, we keep getting more islands, but am I gonna stop spawning? It's just, when are we gonna get a structure and one with an end city for that matter? If I find a couple more islands with nothing on them, I will check the grid. Though to be fair, it is also entirely possible that the generation is somehow different in the mod pack. In which case, it might actually behoove me to check how the first one spawned, because if it spawned in chunks that would be invalid in vanilla, that would be pretty conclusive proof for that in city generation is a different, but uh, here's something. Don't think that's in city related. It sounds like some kind of cave ambiance, but huh? I just don't know. Just don't know. I'd say maybe if render distance was a little higher, which is a server setting on a server rather than an individual setting. I might be able to see stuff from farther away, but that really is not the issue here. Okay. It's just... Got to find an ant city with a big, funny flying boat. A dragon head on the front of that boat. 
that simply aren't showing up. I guess the big thing is just fly faster. But, mm, it's a cool biome, but it's just... There are limits on where the city can generate, I believe. And, okay, that's interesting that I didn't have enough time at recovery to actually tank. Glider out. Didn't take any fall damage, but still. And what is that down there? I am curious as to what that is. Oh, it's just a random statue. Maybe I'll take that for myself. It is. It's quite pretty. A horn statue. Pick that up and take it. Souvenir. You know, it says it's cursed, but it was far more useful to us than, than the regular one, because the regular one only takes spirit orbs, which we never had any meaningful amount of. Okay. I don't think that was the next big island, but it's getting kind of misaligned with that initial end city. So I want to run out of mana. Okay. And a little misaligned, but it's not crazy, crazy. I just don't really know what's going on. Gonna have to check the generation then. I think the big thing is wouldn't be able to check every single part of the cords. But if we wind ourselves up vertically and saw whether that matched vanilla generation, that would give us some useful information. Okay. Oh, Larry should be on in a minute. So that's nice. I guess we'll see if we find an end city before that happens. And we can conclude things quite handily and quickly in. Because I don't imagine that the final boss has any real tricks that it could pull to stop us at this point. Mm -hmm. I mean, because I've seen it. I've seen it. Okay. Gonna be over here, or get to that other side, and okay, that it's actually a bit more, interestingly enough. It's over on this side. Okay, nothing. A bit more over that way. Nice thing is that we can just hang on the paraglider while our mana regenerates, and it's really no issue at all. The amount of time it would have to take to raise the question of how much our stamina regenerates while we're doing this flight, because that would answer the question of whether true infinite quote-unquote flight like this would be possible. Come on, come on, come on. This is... It's not a city, just more of those weird trees. Okay. Congealed stem. It's interesting that it's congealed. Suggests that it's basically just yeah, Enigel and Alium. So yeah, it's some kind of slime taking the shape of a tree for some inscrutable reason. Hmm. Uh, I just... I'm gonna keep going until it comes on, but... It really does not seem as if there's anything here, and I- wait! Okay, lag spike, which maybe that means he's coming on or something, or actually might mean that something was generating. I'm gonna choose to believe that. wonder what that noise is, though. Hmm. And then... Something is making this... Strange rumbling. All right. Nothing shows up. Showed up, so I am just going to ignore that that happened. Mm -hmm. 
then, and then. Alright. This is getting awfully demoralizing. I really would have thought something at least would have been found by now. That said, we have gotten more than a little misaligned. Gonna have to probably go back a bit more over in this direction. Come on, come on. Got more of these trees and all, and... Hmm. What are you doing? Come on, come on. How do I... It's more of this, more of the same. I mean, we got another island over there, but besides that, I... Well, and another island over that way that seems to be separate, but it's just... Those big ol' eggs, but other than that, other than that... It... It really is just kind of barren. He was looking around last time and finding nothing. Now I'm just going off another direction, but I'm still finding nothing. Wild. Oh goodness, that was, yeah, laggy. But frankly, I would presume that if lag's going on, it's because something is actually happening on his computer, which, God willing, will be him getting on the server. Okay. What are these things? An ooze vent. What if I step on this? Well, whatever. Nothing seems to have happened. Fingers crossed, yeah. Yeah. It really is cool how they have all these biomes, but I do think that it's impeding end city generation. And it really is quite lame that we found three cities and none of them have had end ships. Well, whatever. Okay. Uh, uh, hmm. So we can keep on going over this way, but if I line myself back up, kinda, kinda, okay. And and no, nope, nope. Feels like. Some kind of farce. I think it's gonna turn out that I was just exactly off of exactly off the grid. Oh, you came back at a somewhat decent time because Larry should be getting on soon. Which should mean that we can go fight the true final boss. Because as of right now, I've literally just been in a good way or in a bad way, or in a neutral way. Okay, but I'm just looking for end cities right now. Because this will be the end of Dawncraft for now, once we beat that boss. But we might come back later, maybe. Okay, okay. So was it school stuff, or it's not too, too private? Oh, I... Oh... That's not good. Are, are you okay now? Huh. Yeah, I... Did you take the shelf down entirely, or... Nail it, ba nail it back up more strongly? Was it just spontaneous, or was there something else going on? Did someone just drop the shelf on your head? At least that spell's cheap. Would appreciate it if I could amplify a bit higher. But wh wh where is he? It was. That's good. That's good. Yeah, get ice so they don't have to put you on ice. Oh, that. That. I I'm not sure that reassures me, so to speak. Alright. 
Uh, oh, ha! I didn't know you did hockey, but yeah, skating. I can see that. I, I have a friend who used to do hockey back in high school, and he said that the best part of it by far was the fights. Though, to be fair, he... Wait, is this another portal to the final boss? That's interesting. Okay. Alright. Through anger. Okay. Is this giant ball of bone? I think this is farther away than the other one is. Yeah, it's much farther away than the other one is. Okay. Oh, I didn't mark the bone ball, did I? I didn't. Yeah, just m m make sure you stay alive, okay? Please. For a number of reasons. Now, this is much farther away than the other one. That's unbreakable. And this one actually spawns above void level. Because the other portal, which I don't think you saw, either of you saw, spawned in at almost Y level zero. So the portal was there, but the floor was not. People who always seem to be very close to death. Oh, but it's actually... It's not a bone ball, it's a skull. Uh, okay. Well, alright. So this distant altar is what takes you to the final boss. This is what the room is supposed to look like. Keep that in mind for later. Because we found another, but it was near void level. And so there was no way in, because this entire bottom half just got destroyed in generation. So I had to just destroy the top of the skull to get in. Which was an interesting way to do it. It is interesting that they introduced another kind of... Oh, an end city! Is there a ship? Does not look like there is a ship. But it seems as if... It seems as if I might have actually been slightly off. Alright. Wait, wait. That's there, and we've actually gone up a little higher. So I think, yeah, I might have been a little off, but... It really is just... I guess it is actually possible that they might have disabled end ship spawning in order to prevent a light reuse or something, which would be really, really lame and dumb. But it is possible. Okay. Come on. Oh, and we went right through the armor. It's impressive. So. Oh, hi, Mimic Cube. And now you're dead. I hope not, but in the end, there isn't all that much more we need to do. What I'd probably end up doing if I really cared that much would be going into creative mode and seeing if I can deliberately track down an end ship via commands. Because if it wasn't possible at all, that would basically be my confirmation. Oh, but I think what was happening, it was, it was the mimic cube was mimicking my armor and catching me on fire. Interesting. Okay, get down here, get down here. And we were able to hit, hit it a good deal. Okay. What'd you drop? You dropped... Okay stuff. Okay. Mimic cream, looting, void jaw. More books, more books, more gems. An axe. I am... It would be. For a number of reasons. Where is... I am in pain. So I hear another shulker coming down, but... Well, shooting down. It's up top of there, so that should be a few more things, but... Oh, that levitation isn't so bad. Well, we'll see. Come on, come on. Gotta make sure I don't die, die. And there you are, there you are. Punch, punch. Thank you, goodbye. So is there anything up top here that we could maybe get, or... Hmm. No, it was nothing. Okay. 
It's a slightly higher bit with that shulker, and any treasure would be in here, but it's still basically nothing. I really do wonder what determines the size of spawned in end cities. This is quite strange. Okay. Well, we should dispel that. Oh, but another Mimikube over there, and... Okay, okay. Come on, come on, Mint. Where is... Stupid. The pathing of the bullets is actually quite good. I don't like that. So where is my... There we go! We used a single punch. Dispatches them with basically no trouble. This gauntlet being combined with... Ah. And a chest of some sort. This gauntlet being combined with... Actually, super jump's better in this context. Interesting. Scarlet being combined with a fist is a comically strong weapon. So it teleported over there and then died. What is... Oh, another kind of mimic. Oh, and you had, you had good drops, too. Interesting. Okay. The ender chest right there. So, we'll punch you down at least a little. And it seems like that other one just died, too. Come on. For that matter, literally, where is Larry? Some gold ingots. Other things. I assume there should be one more treasure chamber at the very, very tippy top. Hmm. Where is... Where is my reward for struggling through this and I... Okay, alright. Did not try to do that. Let's actually go for a super jump. And that was the only thing in this area. That's actually ridiculous. Getting to see me suffer? Well, it certainly worked. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, Alright. Your number one fun thing, my pain and suffering. It's... Uh, the big thing is that I can literally teleport straight to the final boss whenever I want. So, going there and waiting for them, for him is pointless, not just for that, not just because it would be a waste of time purely, but because I don't need to make a journey over there myself. I just need to know when he's on, tell him where to go, and then teleport with my stone whenever he actually gets there, but... Interesting, and that one actually locked on to me, which normally doesn't happen. And we were able to punch through its effect, probably via the execution ability. Okay. I'm just gonna keep stacking some of these. Big question is, if I have a multi-stack upgrade and tried stacking both of my fists, I presume that one's affixes and enchantments would supersede the other, but I wonder how it would determine that. Maybe it's just the one I put in first? I don't know. Either way, we're gonna... Oh, okay, right, that was the wrong spell. Need fake flight. You know, I'm a little impressed with myself that I was actually able to switch things mid-flight. I mean, mid-fall. This isn't even actually flight. It isn't even... Since I have to have the book out, it isn't even gliding. Okay, well... Somewhat, somewhat. You tap a key, flick the mouse, and... Release the key. Hold down V and then... No, actually, you, you click on one of those. You see, it's so down to muscle memory at this point that I don't even know how to particularly explain it in a rational sense. Oh, but there's another... another waypoint over here. I probably would just actually leave it over here. I wonder what it's going to be called. The Zed Red Crab. It's a funny name. It doesn't mean I like it. I'm gonna name this East End Islands or something. Anything as long as it's descriptive. East End Islands? Sure. Okay. Then over there, and then we can keep on trying to go. So we can hit up. But it's just. Ah. He said he'd be on, then he said he'd be sidetracked. 
And I do want to give him the benefit of the doubt, but it's not fun. Oh, and a, another random waystone. Oh, what's happening? Are you okay? Well, I guess I'll never know what that one was called. We have an Enderman over this way, and what level of... Oh, just an invader. So what is your deal, Mr. Enderman? Okay, that's good. I can't see what this guy's name is, and this is... This is Lady something, I think. But I can't see it's N Lady Nate the Mighty. But I can't... I couldn't even hit it. Weird. Oh, goodness. And what level of... Oh, it's, you're strong. Yeah, that... That does make sense. Just... Please, please go easy on yourself. You want eating? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, how did you handle concussions you've received in the past? As you said, you've been concussed before, but... There are a lot of things that can mean, and a lot of... Room for interpretation with that. Okay, we found another citadel to fight through. Cool. Alright. I guess I'll just... How full is that? It's still nowhere near full. It's insane. I guess... I found another citadel. I may as well... Fight my way through. And maybe... An end city will be somewhere around here? I really do not know. Okay, that's good. Just... As long as you take care of yourself, please. As long as you take care of yourself. Okay. Now, frankly, I would have preferred the one that would have hit everything around me. Whatever. Mm. Still mid. That's actual trash. Some more gems, and then... Boy, John, I don't need that barding. Co oh, comp site. Oh, I didn't know he did any programming. That's cool. Way, way beyond me. So, so... Anti... Anti-goblin energies. So these give me slowness when I walk on them, but I can at least avoid most of them. Take your time, take your time. Deal with whatever you gotta deal with. Come on. What are we gonna... Those blocks are trap blocks. Damage and slowness if you step on them, and... So where is... Okay, another golem. That's cool. Oh my goodness, but I fell. Fell. There we go, and that was not quite instant kill, but quite close. And now it's dead. Okay. You know, I... Do I need that void rune? I mean, I can take it, but I definitely don't need it. Yeah, I'm a professional. Instead, I call you the Italian. Come on, come on, and... Why could I not hit that one? Oh, but... Either way, I need the spell on when I didn't already have it. Come on, come on. Come on, should I? And dispel that, and you are... It is interesting that they seem to be immune to their own levitation effects. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Exactly, exactly. It's just... Take some time to say. No offense. Then, we use that, we got another... Orange rarity. Guess I could take the Enchanter's arrows. I mean, the Augment arrows. And the other one is nothing. Okay. When we go back around, we take the other path after killing what's in here. Okay. Come on, go away. Oh, and a one we can redeem pretty highly. Oh, but they're... Okay, but they're not stacking because of the affixes. That's good. So what's on here? I assume one of these is going to have something spawn. No iron sword of space and time of the Lightbringer. Diamond pickaxe. And did that... That didn't combine them. That's good. Grasping. Iron knife with more enchantments we can take. 
a lot of good stuff, but not the crazy max health damage gems that I might want to have. That's fair. What if I actually did just call you whatever? How would you react? Tricket iron sort of partying. Frost lens. I guess I can just trash that too. Uh, that I could keep that to trash later. Only the best. Only the best. Well, the big thing is that if you use gems that aren't perfect, that means eventually you have to choose between destroying the item or just losing the gems. That is not a particularly fun choice to have to make. Forget what. Oh, oh, calling. Yeah, I don't really refer to people by name all that often. It's just not what I... Oh, is that a... Is that a loop pinata? Wait. Let me see. I don't... And none of those had loot pinata chances. They just... Dropped a lot for no discernible reason. Oh, mending and melding. I need a gravity. Stasis. Lots of books. Another mending book. Okay, Larry is going to be happy when he shows up. Wait, how did we get so many mending books? That's weird. That's fair. They might have died. Then weakness. And then defender. Lots of things I can trash in. They just dropped a bunch of mending and melding books. I, I I assume that's at least somewhat intentional. I guess. Hope not for what. Then yeah, I think we picked everything up. Shield of stubbornness, durability damage, the volcano. Hmm. Volcano Manor from the Elden Ring. No. And let's get rid of that barding. It is literally not useful for a single thing. Eat more potatoes. Take more of the treasure. See if some armor shows up. Telepathic Katana. Bucket. More wild and horns, which I guess could be used eventually, maybe? Lots and lots of that. That... It's actually, I expected it to be, I expected gold stuff to be far more uncommon, even in the end. Not complaining too much, that said, this is basically endgame. Well, it, it literally is endgame, but still. Just looting more, oh, oh, that they died, okay. Just looting more and more stuff until Larry shows up. It's decent. But it's... I don't really need... Uh, there aren't many things I'd really run the Dragon Farm for anymore. Lots of things that I can disenchant and otherwise get rarity materials from. Gold ingots. More arrows, which, among other things, would be... Could just give them to Larry to use as arrows in a bow. And finally, somebody to fight us. Okay, Doc. Thank you. Goodbye. Then we. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's not bad. That's actually really good. Finally, a 100% Ender Surge gem. That's the armor piercing one, but. I think. It applies to anything. So I could put it on anything, but just to make sure I'll put it on the really, really strong fist. Okay. Then, there, go back around, and yeah, that gem, gonna have to put it on something. Hmm. I was, I was thinking that Things were going to end a little sooner. Well, as in, this was going to be relatively short. I'd be able to do video editing and sleep and stuff, but... For better or worse... I don't imagine the boss fight will take all that long, but... 
I can't do that until he shows up. Okay. Come on, come on, and good damage. I wonder how that. Oh, hello. Okay, I think he's calling now. Let me. How you doing? How you been? You what? Sorry. It's not already food coma. Oh, yeah, you did eat a lot. Why are they all called Cully the Old? Well, I am exploring another citadel. I was just poking around the end a bit more while I was waiting for you to show up. Either way... Alright, faux shizzle. On the map... On the map... Chat is happy to see you, by the way. Yo, what's good? For a number of reasons. Yo, I had some... I had some... I have some biryani, I have some curry, I have some samosas, I had this mango ice cream, bro, I had oh. He very much did enjoy the mango ice cream. It was delectable. Nice. I don't say I most things are delectable. Okay. Question is, I'm just doing more looting in the meantime. Big thing is... The portal has a teleport waypoint on it, and it's marked on the map in the end. It's southwest of the initial gateway. And I've got a teleport there, so I'm just going to poke around a little, more, a little bit more. When you're there, tell me. And I will... Probably the old went down there? And I will... Where I'm, when, when I'm where? When you're at that portal area. And I'll reunite with you. Come on, come on, and interesting. Which portal are, oh, like the... Final boss portal. Where is that? It's, it's marked Bone Ball on the map. It's southwest of where we started in the End Islands. So you can find it that way. Oh, and you, okay, you vanish, as one does. Holly is down there. Get another one of those chests. I'll have to beat her, him, it, them up. Well, because it looked like a bone ball. The skull looked like a bone ball when I couldn't see the bottom because it generated wrong. I was making the best judgment I could with the information I had at the time. Well, is that bone ball is what it is? Yeah. Southwest of the rest of the stuff. You should be able to find it, I think. Meanwhile, I'm just going through another citadel. If you want one of those cool gloves that I'm using right now, I put one, I got another and put it in the former eye chest. That said, you're not using that build, so. What do you say? I said I'm chilling with what I have. With the dagger? The dagger and the Hyat spell. Right, right. Okay, so you're behind here. Kill that shulker. I've just... There, there's really nothing that can pose a threat to me at this point, which... Bone ball sounds like an insult. It might be. And let's open this up. Nobody's guarding that. That's not a very good gem. Then... I actually got a 100% rarity armor piercing gem. I'm gonna put that on my gauntlet, because I also managed to get sharpness 8 on it too today. So it's back at... How? Well, just making a bunch of enchanted books. And combining them. Oh, Same it's way sharpness I did the fist. 9 that we don't have. Yeah, it's sharpness 9 that we don't have access to, because it's only in, I believe, stronghold libraries, if it, is, if it even is in the mod pack, because it could have been patched out. So, fight another end guardian. Okay. Trapdoor, weathered iron trapdoor. It's just, at this point, I'm literally just fighting these things for fun. Hi there, hello. And it's just the amount of damage I can put out casually. It's about a third of its health bar in a single hit. Hmm. Hello there, hello. Punch. And now, now you're just dead. It's that simple. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh, okay, it took some time. Oh, and more experience. 
Another gall was obtained for interested parties. So, and this one was... This is a totally normal gauntlet of guard. Okay. Interesting. Got so many of those void runes now. It's honestly crazy. Where is... Okay, Kali the Old is down there now, which is... A really weird place for it to disappear to. Come on, come on. Just let me... Can I hit you? I can. Okay, die and... Wait, was that it, or what? Come on, come on. And... Are you? Okay, somebody dropped something, so clearly... Clearly Kali died. Okay. Either way, I want to get back over there, because there was oh, one more chest. I was looking for an end city. Yeah, I was actually doing a bit of searching myself. And they do did spot- Did you not find one? I did find one, and it didn't have an end ship. They do spawn I've only in- I found two. Yeah, it's not great. There is a way to predict where they'll spawn, because they spawn kind of a grid. It's not perfect. Okay. No, that means if you search a certain amount of a chunk, or a certain amount of chunks in an area. What's the grid again? The grid is... Chunks that are in some range of a multiple of eight. It's on the wiki, but I don't precisely remember. Let's see. Which will this stack with? Stack with these and the full ones. And fill that back up. Okay. Alright. A bunch of baked potatoes on me, so. So one chest with Kali the Old, but. Back through here. That's what Wait, I saw it, before. Am I tripping or did they? Did they what? Did end cities used to be marked on the map? What do you mean marked? Like you, in this one, I think you're too zoomed out. No, they, no, no, no. Here we go. They'll show up a little if you zoom in, but their graphical display is not perfect, so to speak. So did you find the bone ball, or...? Oops. Basically, do you know where to go for the final boss fight? I mean, I know I know where the marker is. Okay. There we go, finally, loot shulker. But, the qu basically, are you making your way over? Not at the moment. Okay. Basically, what's the game plan? Do we want to do a bit more looking around the end, or just, do we just want to bum rush to the boss fight and then do a final duel before things close out? Because I'm kind of leaning more towards the latter option right now. I kind of want to just fight. I, I want to find an end city. With a ship? Yes, because I want an electric, just because I think that'd be cool. It could be, but that said, given that this is only the last Dawncraft thing for now, that could be something we could try if we decide to get back into Dawncraft. The big thing is, if we keep on looking, there's a chance that we spend about an hour and a half more without finding anything, and then... All right, give me 12 minutes. Okay, cool, 12 minutes. I will put a gem into my gauntlet in the meantime. Godspeed, Lerald. And in here we have, it's this one, base, 40% base armor piercing. And let's see. Smithing table. That and there, and that one socket, and now that we have a 6 base current HP damage. It's 40 base armor piercing. Not bad. Okay. Actually, in the meantime, I could try running... Hmm, I guess the question is... Oh! Did you find one? I want to make sure it's... 
Dude, what is my deal? Did you find one with a ship? I may have. I literally just turned my render distance up. What no, are your core? Not of a ship. Oh, okay. Fair enough. It'd be really funny if that's how it happens. Dude, this is so bull. What is? It's just the fact that they none don't really of these spawn. Ships. Yeah. I feel like it might have been something that they deliberately turned off. Honestly. And how the hell am I supposed? To we just might not be able to get a lighter. Or alternately, if it, it could be in one of the side dimensions. It would have been funny if you found one. Yeah, that is one thing we never did. Go to any of the side dimensions. We never did, yeah. Okay, I gotta get some real quick. I'll be right back. Scott. Plus 40 base armor piercing. The only thing that would maybe be, and I realized why I couldn't get 100% just insta-kill damage, and that's because when you put these gems, you have to put them on the weapon. If you put them on your armor, that would just increase the armor piercing if you hit someone with that piece of armor. As in, took the armor off and swung it at someone, like a weapon. Understandably, is never is generally not particularly useful. Okay. Anything else? We'll take that. Suppose I could go to disenchanting a number of the things I've got on me. Oh, I found seven mending books. And there are two things of mending oh. in the enchantment library already. So if you, if you want to put them on anything, feel free. I mean, I don't really need it right now, but yes, I will. Yeah, eventually one I'm day maybe, that. if we ever come back to this accursed place. Yeah, but it wouldn't be all that hard to actually run. Get at least the pearlescent end shelf part. The dragon heads are, as of now, inaccessible, but the end shelves would be trivial. So it's an idea, it's a possible concept, but among other things I need to get a few more blaze rods, so I'm running that farm a little bit. How many blaze rods do you need? 64 or so, well, almost a stack, which isn't all that bad, but I use- Why? Well, because you need end rods, which you can farm from cities, but it's- End rods for what? For the Perlos and Edge Elves, they just need end rods in the recipe. What eggshells? Pearlescent end shelves. Oh. Which are part of the ideal setup. Let me see. End forge. End fuse rectification that needs purple amethyst. Gilded blocks of amethyst. You need 20 of those. Yeah, I turned my render distance way up. That's smart. I didn't know that would have an effect if I did it on my computer. Because I thought about doing that, but I thought, okay, it won't matter because the server would be in control. Also. No, it's still your computer. That 80, honeycomb. Oh, okay, interesting. Well, there we go. I was not aware. Hmm. Running this is more complicated than it needed to be, though to be fair, we can... There aren't really things. As long as I can find end citadels and ships. That's resources right there. It's the best way to get stuff. And now I'm unkillable and kill everything. It's kind of crazy. Hmm. I really hope... That when we do our duel after the final boss, that you have some way to just totally cheese me and kill me instantly. 
Found another end city. Does that have a ship? Literally just. It's, it's not even a. Sh it's not even that there's no ship. There's not even like branching things. It's just a single end tower. Yes. My god. My goodness. Okay. My my utmost hope that you can find a real end city city with a real ship. In the remaining six minutes before we go kill the final boss. It really is. It wouldn't even surprise me at this point. Oh, I just realized something actually, which is that... I'm sure there's a... Let me see. Head... Taking... Hmm... Is there a head taking enchant enchantment? There's a cleaver of beheading, which I don't know how it get. Hmm. How do? I figure there'd be some sort of mob head related enchantment that I could put on something to make it. Hmm. Well, whatever. To increase the chance of getting a mob head when killing something, and then we could just fight the Ender Dragon repeatedly and actually just try to behead it. Try to get a dragon head from that, but I don't think that's going to be the way to do it, if that even is a way at all. It's... I presume... I, I presume that the stuff that we seemingly just can't find, either we're just really unlucky... Yeah, there are exactly three possibilities. One, we're really, really unlucky. Two, they patched out of the mod entirely. Three, they put in other dimensions. Well, the reason that we want the head is because the dragon head is used in one of the recipes for shells that we need to get the maximum best enchanting setup. You need two of these things to hit max Eterno, which is the ma basically enchanting power. I need four of them to get the specific enchanting setup you, you need to make unbreakable potion effect charms. So that's why. That's why it's all weird. It's taking a lot more than I might like to fill this thing up. I really did mess up in making them so far away. If if we if we did eventually continue things afterwards, I feel like moving the natural materials farm closer to the actual Drigmi mob farm would be a good thing to do. And I would be moving the natural materials farm instead of the mob farm. Because I could do that without Moving all the mobs in the mob farm would be Herculean, but just moving the natural materials in the world springs itself would be relatively simple. Okay. We have three minutes to make a miracle happen. I'm praying. A really cool enchant. What? For my quiver. What is it? Is um, it a Quinfinity or? No, it's called cycling. It automatically cycles to the Oh, next. cycling. We have some books for that already, actually. Oh, we do? Yeah. Also, I got a lot of those enchanter's arrows, which... You might not be using an enchanter's bow. Maybe you should, actually. Maybe you should try that. Way late. I'd like to just find it. Awesome. Yeah. That would take... Just I just bow, kind of... manipulation, source gem, gold. I mean, it's been fun, but... You're tired of this game, literally. Yeah, I'm pretty tired of, of Dawncraft, just in general. Understandable. I know. Well, one thing I realize is that we also... That's why I think we should do Dogapon with... with with Jack. Just so that no Minecraft for the time being. Minecraft break. Not that it, not no Minecraft. Like, we could start something modded, like, later, but... I would say then until yeah, We've Togo been playing this. How long have we been playing this game? About five months. Five months. And practically once a week. Is that... I would want to finish Dokapon before we did... 
Well, finishing, there is no finishing to Or, I don't know, story mode. Well, there eventually, long. but eventually someone wins. Right? I don't know how long story mode is, uh, but I think it's a really, really long time. Yeah, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, the main thing is we play it until people in general get tired of it and then do something else. Well, one minute remaining on the clock. I'm just going to the thing. Okay, cool. Tell me when you get there and I'll TP over. It's really interesting because I was saying before that it spawned in underneath. Well, it spawned in far below when it, where it's supposed to. So, the very bottom of the structure intersected with the void. Which means that there's no floor in the actual teleport chamber. I put a little bit down. Normally it's supposed to basically be this skull temple. But instead it became basically this giant bone ball. Oh, damn. What, did you find it? Why can't- oh, I have the wrong thing. Oh, I'll just TP over and wait for you. The enemy Lard Larry is approaching quickly. Okay. I'll just beat up these endermen. Hi. And chorus roots. And what kind of oh just well whatever. Can get over here. Thanks. Die, 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 die. There we go. Then in that's not oh, three sockets. Well if I wanted to, I could actually upgrade. <laughs> I really wanted to. I could upgrade that to another ignition, actually. Eh, no, no, no. Don't really need sockets and things right now. Come on, come on. Die. All I, all I can really do right now kill random Endermen in the vicinity while I wait for someone else to show up. Yeah, but that. Uh, using the teleport waypoint is going to be a good idea. Because I have a good idea of what the final boss is going to be like. But I'm not too sure about how much damage it'll output. So it'll be good to have a relatively quick way back. Especially since you've still got your warp stone active, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Mm -hmm -hmm. And there you are. Simple enough. Punch and... Overheal? That actually could be okay to put on armor, maybe. Especially since I actually just realized that if you put a weapon gem on armor, it won't work. I thought any gem you had equipped that was weapon related would apply to all weapons you use. So I was thinking, okay, I'll put stuff on armor to get even more relevant effects up, which simply does not work, and maybe that makes me a little stupid. Hey, what are you talking about? Oh, that if you put a a weapon effect related gem on armor, it won't do anything. Because I thought that putting a gem on any piece of, thi piece of anything you've got equipped would just apply those effects to any piece of armor or any weapon you've got equipped. But No, no, it, it would be per weapon. Yeah, and I figured that out, but I didn't think that was the case. Why? And you apply it to that specific weapon. Well, it's because of stuff like overheal and armor being applicable. So I figured it was just kind of a two-way street thing. I don't know. In the end, it's good that you can't make your weapons incredibly overpowered. You can still do stuff like I'm doing right now, but still. I mean, being able, being able to one-tap an Enderman is a bit excessive. I'm just farming. I've just never seen this many end cities without ships. Yeah, I. Because I, like, I kid you not, I turned my ender. Oh, there you are. Hold up, on. And I got a shit ton more. Your ender distance? I rendered, yeah. Okay. Interact with this. I do. Oh, hello. Seems like you couldn't be kept away. Thank you. Alright, how big... hard is this boss gonna be? I don't think it'll be particularly hard, but be prepared for the worst anyway. And I... Put my blood vials in there and just 
Glide down on that bone because that's straight void. I put this there. Using the bone blocks that were there, and you just right click on the altar. Okay. Don't approach quite yet. There's something funny I want to try real quick. Blackstone flames. What oh. the hell? This is hardened blackstone. Second Oh, defeat the dragon, then we'll talk. We 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 beat the dragon. Wait, Notch, what? are you ready? What? Oh, he said, are you ready? Say no. See what happens. He's saying something different to me. No, I, he said good. Prepare yourself. Well, whatever. I guess I'll fight him. Wait, Notch is the final boss? Yeah. Wait, wait. Wait, step away from him for a second? I think I might not be able to deal damage to him. Let me see. No, I'm doing oh, damage to him just fine. Crap ton of damage. Okay, I was just... He's doing a good amount of damage, too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. He's quite tough, actually. Yo. Okay. I just... You, you really gotta be dodgy for this, actually. Mm -hmm. Good thing we have our stamina. And our crazy, crazy... stuff. I'm just... Oh, wow. Okay. I'm going to keep my distance for the moment. Waiting for a... Oh my... Oh, what? Okay. I was not expecting things to work like that. Okay. Interesting. He, he's going for me. Oh, do you have fists now, too? That's fun. No, I got my dagger. I just... Okay. Just oh, what did Holy he just... Holy shit! A grab attack? They gave him a grab attack? That's insane. Do we have any blood vials left? Okay. I don't. Mm -hmm. Do I want to oh, do Oh, I this? do. I do, I do, I do, I do. Okay, save up a... Save up a special. See if you can... Oh my... Really? Really? At least that grab attack doesn't do a lot of damage. That's some relief. Oh, please. I... Oh my... What? 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 Not... Okay, vial, vial. Yeah. Charge of that special, and then when he gets to half health, just let him have it. I my special won't charge. Oh, interesting. Huh. I guess it's just because the amount of damage we're dealing to him is too negligible in the scheme of. Oh my goodness. Yes, and I'd say it's pretty wrong given how much damage he's dealing to us. This is kind of like something like Metal Gear Rising, where the final boss is, you know, a guy who's really good at punching, basically. Jesus Christ. Dodge. Okay, and I... Okay, you can't dodge through that grab attack. Interesting. Well, it's... Oh, that's right, you are a Giga Zoomer. Notch was the guy who made Minecraft. He's... Controversial for reasons, but he made Minecraft. Well, we already fought one of those. You have to understand that this is basically supposed to be aping Dark Souls, and pretty much every Souls game has some humanoid as a final boss. Gotcha. Oh, you're really? Really? Okay. I know this is a bit, but. Okay. Dude, this dude is hard to yeah, fight. I honestly should have taken my res potion. When I first showed up, actually, he did say, are you ready to me? I don't know why he said, beat the dragon, then we'll talk. Probably just because I went and left after initially going here. Hmm. I the salmon is probably a better option, actually. Let's see. But I'm running out of stuff. Dodge and... Oh my... What? Oh, please. I... Okay. Can't afford to eat if he's going to be chasing me specifically down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gonna jump again, or... I'm surprised at how tough he is. I thought this would be a lot more of a curb stomp, considering the armor and the weapons that I've got right now. I don't hate that. 
I actually do like that this is actually kind of hard. Oh, I love that it is. I'm just surprised. Don't worry, you don't have to try hard for that. And eventually... Okay. Once we get him down to beat him down. You don't get to complain when you say that you're deliberately trying to be annoying. If you can't take it, don't dish it out. Okay. Did you get him? He's transforming. What the fuck? Yep. Second form. But that's an elemental spell and Okay. Oh no hey! Hey, let's talk, buddy! Let's talk! Well no, 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 no. Just make sure you stay alive. I'm on my way back. Okay. That's it? That's all I need to do is stay alive? Yep, for now at least. Okay. There we are. I'm back. Oh, a big laser beam. That's something. So what's in my corpse? Uh, nothing? Okay, and I... Interesting. Okay, the big thing is he's focusing on Wait, you. Wait, I might... Means... Can I not regain health? What the hell? I think it's some kind of effect. Wow, okay. Interesting. Hmm. What the fuck is going on? Okay, survive for now. I'm going to TP back real quick. And I can't switch my slot. Where do you even go? I just sort of spanned the... Uh... Okay, well... Yacht in a specific direction. Thank you. I guess that is somewhat accurate. Okay, let's go back. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. This may surprise you, but not, but not everything is a Pokemon reference. Okay. And at least... At least this guy spawned in with not full health. That is somewhat nice. And, okay, source berries. Interesting. Come on, just... Let's see how much damage I can deal. Deal. And, mm, let's blitz you down. What the there fuck? There we go. There we go. We got him? Yeah, did he get teleported back to the overworld? No, I got shot into the nether. Oh, he can get sent to random places, actually. Right click on one of the dancing corrupts to go back. God. Wait. One of his powers is just sending you to a random... Dimension? Yeah. Well, that's kind of bull. I agree. Okay, and how much... Wait, so what'd you get by going in there? By killing him? Not much, that's just the end. Nice. And are you back here now? Thank you. Trick me, Swirless Briggs. Oh, Hello! I... Oh, you can pop them? That's mean. I'm mean. If you right quick, then you just get sent back to the overworld. Where am I? Packed ice. What the? And literally, where am I? I presume. Well, I wonder if the quest master will have anything to say now. As a result of our remarkable achievement. Also, literally, where am I? Okay, you can... Well... I got sent back to a random... Oh, I got sent back near spawn. And somehow you were spawned... Not inside a giant ice spike while I was... I actually did. Oh, okay. I just mined out of it. I mean, so did I. But... I, you know what? What? I never knew this was sand. Sand? The snowy beach. Wait, where, where's like, this? Look at this. I don't know where you are. Which way did you go? I'm by that hut where we got our first thing. Okay, I'm checking. I'm checking. Like I'm almost. A Just trying to find my way back because I'm disoriented. Okay. So right now we're. It's crazy to think of. Okay, so, gotta go back this way. Frankly, I should fly back this way. Goodness, there's so much over. Hmm. I think this is the way back. No, this is not the right way. Okay. Stony. I 
Gotta go. Further this way. Wait for me, I beg of you. Almost there. It does feel weird for it to all be over now, I will say. Yeah. Or at least over for now, because, like I said, I do feel like going back through those dimensions. It was fun! Yeah, going to those other dimensions, that'll be yeah. fun. That notch fight was cool. I wonder if it's repeatable at all. No, not really. It, it's not uh, like we had any you, particular okay, emotional so attachment. Okay, so go to the Guildmaster and talk to him. Okay. Oh, this was sand. Oh, is it, are you talking about this beach? The sand? My speech is... It was a cool final boss fight. It was literally just an Elden Ring reference because God Slain is the message that pops up when you beat Elden Beast in Elden Ring. That is all. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go back home now. And... Apparently the Guildmaster will say something now. Wait a minute. What? Is there an item that you got from... Not to my knowledge. I didn't, get the, I didn't get the achievement because he sent me to the nether when you beat him. Well, I think it's a last hit thing. More than anything else. Alright, we'll see, let's see what happens. We could see if we could respawn him. No. End of the road, no more information, follow your calling. Tended eyes. Yeah, he doesn't say anything. No, he does. I just went to this guy and he said a bunch of stuff. What did he say? Go to this one. No, I think it just didn't work. Go to a guy with a question mark. Yeah, I don't have any option that acknowledges the fact that I killed the boss. Because when I fought him, it was after he said, kill the dragon, then we'll talk. Because I, init cause I initially went in, it gave well, me mine the... Mine says, if you must know, the deity who corrupted the ender dragon, he's still very much alive. But that being is simply too powerful even for you. The map to reach him is held by the Ender Guardian. As, far, as for the whereabouts of the Ender Guardian, our Enderians may have a clue. I do not advise you to pursue this. You've done more than enough. But I, we just beat him. Yeah, exactly. It's just kind of... Bruh. Oh, oh, so I was initially supposed to get something about... I think it might have been because you were the one who opened the portal, maybe? Or because you were the one who landed the last hit on the dragon? I really don't know. Well, either way, jank or not, we finished things, so. I guess I do want to check briefly if it's possible to respawn Notch. Because it would be interesting to, if we tried things again, see if we could. Oh my goodness. Stupid phantoms killing the villagers. You know, to see how much easier the fight would be with additional amounts of crazy strength, I guess. But I can't hit can't hit that guy. Look at me in my wizard tower. Yeah. So did we want to have And look at you, not in a wizard tower. Yeah, but also it's I can fucking hut. punch anything to Bitch. death in 2 seconds basically unless that thing is notch. Uh, so I know. I would say that but I it's not a competition, but I would say that I'm personally satisfied with my capabilities. Well, no, here's the thing. Because you don't understand. No, I think I do. I built the wizard tower. You did not build the wizard tower. I didn't. I take personal offense to that. Alright. Understandable. You are free to take as much or as little offense as you like. So, did we want to have one little last duel somewhere before it all, before it's all over? For now? Uh, sure. Okay, cool. What location do you have in mind? I just want to see, what if I went back in here, what would happen? Let's go back to spawn. Where Actually, let me see. Let me see something. And, okay, that's interesting. And Notch just shows back up again for me. And he says, defeat the dragon, then we'll talk. The first time I found him, he just normally said, are you ready? Yeah, sure, I'll go back to spawn. I need a minute for my warp standard.
recharge, but sure, we'll find it spawn. That would be a good way to end things. Where it all began, as you said. 57 measly seconds. For that to recharge. I think the big thing would be if I had that resistance to charm up, unbreakable resistance to charm up, that would be 40% additional damage reduction on top of everything I already had. And then also, I guess, maybe just adding more armor gems to my armor. Maybe. Who knows, really? Then I could probably solo Nosh if I really wanted to, which could be something interesting to try, especially since he seems to be interested in fighting yes fighting the dragon and then maybe trying to fight notch be cool and oh and all those koroks are over there still chilling not really doing much of anything it is funny how they just pop mean of me so back to actually the fast way to get back to spawn would be Right clicking on one of the Koroks, and are we still. Really, really, another random ice spike? You've gotta be kidding me. It's a different location in the same exact ice spike. Okay, well. I'll meet you at spawn, we'll give each other the fight of our lifetimes, and then, I don't know, have our death times. Something like that. So let's just. I gotta reorient myself again. So, so samey. Then over there is... Yeah. Okay. The enemy Mushin Eigen is approaching at rapid speed. Take caution. Oh, this part was the sand. I didn't notice that. I feel like that might have changed somehow. Or I guess we just never saw it from that side. Are you at spawn right now? Ah, okay, cool. Oh, and you're getting things started with a... You little... Why? I don't blame you. You did not make a wizard tower. And that's what this is all about, it seems. Understandable. Okay, cool. That said, I don't think it really homes in on me. It might be a team-based thing. Well, I finally managed to dodge your projectiles and... All right. Interesting. He's getting all evasive on me. I, oh, how do I wanna Get snare on there too? I, I don't see a. Oh, there you are. Oh well. Interesting. Maybe I should just retool things. I would advise you not to kill our friend right there. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Nice, nice. Then... And, are you... Interesting. Okay. Thank you. From fall damage? It would be funny, but... What is this? Got feather falling related. I don't what know. What the hell am I on? I don't know. Snared? Yeah. I guess so. What are you going to do about it? Hit the ground? Oh, I... That's what I should do. Mm -hmm. Snare and then... If you're not going to try to fight me up close, I'm going to have to find a way to bring you to me. Most likely. Thank you. Hmm... And I'm sorry, but the damage that deals is not meaningful. Oh, well, all right. Come on. What's your health at right now, for the sake of argument? Not good. Fuck! <laughs> there you go. How did I make... What the hell? Nine, nine Larry corpses. Dude, those fists are busted. Yeah, and there's a reason I use them. Well, once I was able to... Once I clipped your wings, so to speak, you were a bit easier to deal with. You, you were trying to fly away, weren't you? 
No, I wasn't trying to fly away. I was trying to strike at an opportune moment. Yeah, well. Sadly, that moment never came. Come over here and pick up your nine corpses. I don't know if they have anything. Well, you may as well check. Alrighty. That was a fun fight. It was a little unfair, but... That I is unfair. Those, those, those gauntlets make it not even... Like, there's not even a point to dueling. Because if we just had our, if we just had, had those, it's just whoever lands the first hit. If we both have the gauntlets. Rock and sock and robots. Yeah. But it is very, very funny how I managed to get this ridiculous level of DPS. Just literally. That is, it is, it is crazy. Literally via exploits. Because normally this thing's got .55 attack speed. This, this is basically four. But it takes whatever's in the right hand, and these things are both fists, so they can be dual wielded, so... Alright. Actually, you want to go... How about best of three? No! <laughs> I'm done! Mm. I don't want to get fucking wiped again. Well, then come out with some spells to deal with me. You're the magic guy, aren't you? No, I'm fine. Okay. No, I'm not even the magic guy. We decided I wasn't the magic guy when you decided to get all into magic. Well, you were the one who wanted lightning. Either way, that was fun. It's... Wow, wow. How much damage would this even do? Oh, I, I get hit once and it dealt about a heart and a half. A heart and a half. A heart and a half. Oh, that's really weird. It literally spawned in, because it spawns a mob. That's kind of how Dark Souls actually does stuff like that too. It was actually a three-star elite flame ball. Be funny if it dropped something. But I'm gonna see some. Oh, like you can attack it? I think. No, you actually can't. But it can spawn in with mob effects, because it's just a mob and a hostile one at that. Let me see. Cause one you know what would be fun is that if I found something in Hexerai that was like an invincibility potion. Yeah. Close thing would honestly be the Apotheosis. Res to infinite charm. See something. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, brother. Anything else in mind? Not necessarily. As one does. I'm gonna go retire. Permanent as in at the top of my tower. Interesting. Uh. I didn't even fully build my tower. I wanted to be even bigger. Oh, that's just a reason to come back at a later date and fully complete things, maybe. The big thing is, and I was trying to say this earlier, I don't know, something interrupted, but Dawncraft's received some updates since, which I think are just bug fixes, but there were some bugs with the Apotheosis and how it handled the fixes. Sometimes what you saw in the affix table would not be what showed up on the weapon after you applied the affix. That happened to me a few times. Apotheosis, I mean, Dawncraft has updated a few times since we started. It just doesn't auto-update. Yikes for what? Do you fix stuff? Or... Well, so be it. Just gonna... To the top of the tower. Oh, well, there. As we watch the sunset. Well, I was planning on having a second round, but as one does. Yeah, because you just do the same thing and wipe my ass. I don't, well, I, don't I, I would actually, that. I would actually prepare a spell to specifically counter everything you could do, and beat you even harder. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> because the issue is that I had snare and gravity separately. He's gone. I guess I won. And if I really wanted to just utterly pummel you. I would have them on a single spell with a decent amount of accelerate for the projectile and use that to just keep you in place and unable to fly away. And then I would punch you to death like I did the last time. Well, it would be romantic except for the fact that, well, he left me. Either way, I guess that's the end of Dawncraft for now. I think next week we'll start Dokopon Kingdom with Jack and maybe a fourth if possible? We'll see. It does go up to four. I don't know. The three-person dynamic we have is pretty good. 
Is he even on the call anymore? He's still on call, okay. Larry, give us your wisdom. Is what avenue? I don't know, just... Give us some words before I hop off for good, for now. Roy the oh. meat. And... Oh, this guy is actually pretty hard to deal with. Kinda. Another undead army. Okay, that's my cue to hop off. I don't want to have to fight another undead army. Okay. Real. The undead army's already here. You know what? I guess the question is... The question is... Do I take down this one last undead army as a send-off, or do I just say screw it and let the undead army win? Uh, it's up to you. I think I say screw it and let the undead army win. So in that case, I'm gonna go back, sleep in my own bed, and that'll be all. Eat one last baked potato and sleep in my bed for one last time. Okay. Oh, there we Oh, that meant made me leave the bed. Okay, cool. So, well, there's a dragon egg, and Not should not acknowledge me fighting him. Either way, that'll be a thank you to everyone who watched and supported us in our weird journey. And yeah, Santa Ragan and approximate. Thank you, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Especially the part where I beat the crap out of him. That was fun. He's still there, he's just not saying anything. No, so, I left. As one does, as one does. It, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, next week we'll start Doke Upon Kingdom, and in about 12 hours is more Dark Souls 3. I've got about exactly a month to beat Dark Souls 3, and then to finish Dark Souls 3, and then beat Sekiro and Demon Souls. So, Godspeed. Well, you're not really supposed to say that to yourself, but yeah. Thank you, everyone. Sound Dragon.